All right, welcome to Tech Gear Clothing. I'm Brandon, and here's my list of Columbia's top five jackets. Now, before we jump into this video, there's two terms that you need to know, OmniTech and OmniHeat. OmniTech is a multi-layered weather protection system that's designed to keep the elements on the outside where they belong. Columbia's main purpose with creating OmniTech was to allow moisture to escape from the jacket without letting it penetrate it. OmniHeat is a thermal reflective technology that Columbia created years ago, and where you'll see this is little silver dots on the inside of the jacket that reflect your own body heat back towards you to keep you as warm as possible. Now in the description below, I've left links to all these jackets. So if you go down, you can click on them. You can set up some pros and cons to see which jacket might be right for you. But if you have questions or you have any of these jackets and you wanna share your experience using them, please leave that in the comments below. Coming in at number five is Watertight 2. The two things you need to know about this jacket is that it's top-notch rain protection and packable. This is a fully seam sealed jacket that's waterproof and breathable. And one of the main reasons why I made it onto this list is because you can pack it down into its pocket and that's something that I love. For the shell of this jacket, Columbia uses OmniTech, which is what gives it its rain tight seal. This jacket has an adjustable storm hood, a mesh lining, and an abrasion resistant chin guard. The fabric that Columbia chose to go with on this jacket is 100% nylon, too well, full dull, plain weave. And Columbia's focus with all these features is to make this jacket a solid companion for trail and travel. In my last video, I covered Arc'teryx's top five jackets, and that was a pretty expensive list. Columbia is certainly more budget friendly, so if you're looking for a good trail companion to protect you from the elements, this is definitely a brand you want to consider. You can pick up the Watertight 2 for right around 52 bucks. Taking the fourth spot is the Alpine Action Jacket. Columbia's take with this jacket was to be a storm fighting companion that has premium insulation. It also may come to no surprise that they've layered this jacket with their OmniTech and OmniHeat technology. You have adjustment in the cuffs as well as a comfortable stretch lining. On the inside you can find an internal security pocket as well as a media and goggle pocket. You have a zipper chest pocket which is my favorite practical pocket on really any jacket and it adds to the look of this jacket quite a bit. All pockets are zippered and it has a drop tail design to keep you fully covered when you're being really active. Columbia's main focus with this jacket is for winter sports. The shell, the lining, and the insulation are all 100% polyester and will do a great job at keeping you warm. You can pick this one up for right around 170 bucks. Coming up third on my list is the Whirlybird 4 Interchange. This popular 3-in-1 has a waterproof breathable shell and a separate internal thermal layer. This waterproof breathable shell and the separate internal thermal layer is what gives this jacket the 3-in-1. Now it came really close for me between the Alpine Action Jacket and this one, mainly because I really love how the Alpine Action Jacket looks, but I'm super big on practicality and you can't beat three jackets for one price. On this jacket you have underarm venting, a zipper chest pocket, and a ski pass pocket. And on the inside you can find a security pocket as well as a goggle pocket. Really this jacket and the Alpine Action Jacket are incredibly similar in features. Again, it was the three in one that won it for me. You can pick this jacket up for around 110 bucks. Taking the number two spot as a new one from Columbia is the Outdry X rain jacket. Now this jacket's primary focus is not necessarily for people who are battling temperature elements, but moisture elements. Columbia claims that this one will keep you absolutely dry. With their focus on external hem tape, cinching hem, hood, and cuffs, they did not want to let anything get inside when you need to stay dry. Your primary zip is water sealed and they place zippers underneath the arms for ventilation. And when you're focusing so much like Columbia is on keeping water out, those ventilation zippers underneath the arms are going to be lifesavers. Now I may be wrong, but without proper breathable fabric and ventilation like they have under the arms, the only difference could really be that you're wearing a fitted trash bag. So whether it's this jacket or another hydrophobic jacket that you're looking at, just know that you need ventilation. And you can pick up this rain jacket for right around 150 bucks. Now before I reveal my number one pick, be sure to subscribe and give this video a like. And 
and taking our number one spot is the Titan Pass 2.5L Shell Jacket. Columbia's main focus with this jacket was to make it ready for rain, have reflective details, and handy storage. The fabric that they use is 100% polyester, but it has just enough stretch to keep you comfortable, without sacrificing the waterproof breathability to keep you dry on rainy adventures. Now, whether you're an active trail runner or an urban street adventurer, the reflective bits on this jacket are gonna help you stay visible to the people around you. You have an adjustable attached hood, adjustable cuffs, and a drop tail on this jacket. You have three sealed external zippers, one of which being a chest pocket, again, my favorite, and you have an internal security pocket. Now, one thing to know about this jacket is that it's to be used primarily as a shell, which means you can use any of your mid layers that you already have to keep you warmer if you're going out to battle the cold. Now, that's it for my top five Columbia jackets. If you've used any of the jackets or if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and again, subscribe if you found this content valuable. I'm Brandon, this is Tech Gear Clothing. We'll catch you in the next one. Okay. Look at these little lights. Look at these little lights that came on. Nice little touch. Freaking come up here and film at night. Look at that. Well, would you look at it?